much y'all we are headed out for a hike ER Junior is still asleep so we're gonna head out from the hotel it's like we did a little over a year ago but this time I'm heading southbound up the mountain see the full moon right there it's beautiful out here so we're in Delville we stayed at the Super 8 last night last place I stayed when I was here <clears throat> had a good night we ate some Pizza Hut pizza and uh, chillax in the room I'm gonna try to go up and get a sunrise from the hilltop overlooking Delville we'll see if I can make it there in time <clears throat> it's cold but I'm not gonna complain because all the 2018ers have lived with it, so this is nothing. I got to sleep in a nice hotel room and get to go hike the Appalachian Trail today, so that rocks. Me and the ER, little ER, ER Junior. We're gonna roll up out of Delville today. Don't know where we're going. Um, we'll see where life takes us. All right, y'all, see you up the trail. Looking back down at Delville, 45 minutes, about two and a half miles straight up. Woo, it felt good, but it was rough. I miss being out here. The energy this trail provides you. Just speechless. It's amazing. I'm trying to get a good time lapse of the sunrise here. Just made it. I mean, I just put the camera down right when the sun started peeking over the horizon. Steve Stone, this is for you, buddy. I still appreciate you. It's funny how it's been over a year. You still remember that day so vividly, you as in me, of hurting coming down here. Probably did too many miles the days before this, and uh, Steve Stone with a Gatorade and some McDonald's to the rescue. Can't thank you enough. yesterday and we were walking down hey the elation of him not having to climb any more mountains yesterday was awesome but that's what it is for all of us right like that accomplishment and I can see it in his eyes yesterday and uh, for all the parents who have you know witnessed that in their children that's a special thing it's really cool to, to see him proud of himself of what he did climbed up that mountain yesterday morning it was rough really proud of him so don't want to push it too much don't want to make him miserable at this point, so maybe just uh, go out and show him some great views. And maybe just do a little bit of walking somewhere easy like the Blue Ridge Parkway or Skyline Drive or... Uh, as fickle as I am, we may throw all that out the window and head south and maybe go try to find fresh ground. I know he's going to be off tomorrow, but I think three miles is going to work a stand for him. I'd like to meet three miles. Like if you, ha if you aren't watching three miles, he was hiking with uh, Pee Wee for a while, Amanda Beth. I don't know that they're still hiking together right now because three miles want to make some miles. But regardless, 
he is worth watching. Um, it's a three mile if you watch this. I know I've commented to you a few times, but your videos are inspirational to me because I know what you're dealing with. Um, I'll say I know, I understand what you're dealing with, but I don't have any experience with it. But uh, man, I'm, I'm here to root you on and I hope people tune in to see the challenges um, that you're overcoming on the trail. It's impressive. All right, so we may head south. I don't know. I'd love to go eat at the diner in Hot Springs because I keep seeing everybody's videos and it's driving me crazy. I think uh, ER Junior would love one of those cinnamon rolls that they have there. So we'll see. Let's check out the Iron Horse Inn right there in uh, downtown Hot Springs. Um, they got some cool rooms. I think ER would like that. Just have to see if they have Wi-Fi or not. I keep calling him ER now. I don't even say little ER. What the hell's going on? What am I doing? <laughs> he needs another trail name. Uh, or maybe I do. Maybe he's the new ER. I don't know. All right, y'all. Still a term from hikeification to hikeification. Digging your videos too. Uh, you're just at the next level. Um, but just sitting, sitting up here with some pontification on a Saturday morning. Chatty Cathy, because I'm just inspired and motivated and uh, at peace. It's a good day. Good day. So do you think, now on the CDT, I could hitch anywhere. I'm like, we're on the AT. So we're going to get you to 16, and then you can hitch to Marion. Yeah, but he's, you know, he's still in that moment. Oh, yeah. You know, his, his glory days are still there, you know. But his knee, was pretty, his knee was pretty big. Though. Oh, it was, it was crazy big. He said, normally on the PCT, my knee only goes bad at the end of the day, end of the hike. Here, it's really bothering me now. So maybe on the CDT, though. And I was like, you're on the AT. Fresh <laughs> ground for the audience. What what uh, kind oh, of no. language was that right oh. there? Who were you in uh, person? <laughs> was that Czechoslovakia right there? Was I, that I'm in bad trouble right now. <laughs> was that che okay. a Czech okay. accent? Because okay. that's hard to tell. I can't do that. That could have been anywhere from Hawaiian to Czechoslovakia. <laughs> Fresh Grounds is racist. Three Mile, question. tell us, uh, if you would, real quick, tell us where you're at in your hike and what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm about to set myself up for failure. <laughs> Why is that? Because tomorrow being April Fools, and it is not an April Fools, I'm filming in for Fresh Grounds tomorrow on... Um, April Fool's Day, and it's Easter, but the reason being is it's because I just want to give back to the community, and everybody knows how the AT feel, I feel about the AT, and it's just my way to give back. Awesome. So. I was telling Three Mile that uh, there's no way, like me and Little ER are now Hollywood, we're, we're rolling, because I'm not going to be here when this thing starts going south, and I... <laughs> I'm fully confident that three miles is going to be good, but when this goes south, ER is going to be gone. <laughs> All right, y'all, this is mine in Hollywood's hamburger right here. We got the fresh ground beef right here. We're not even through hikers, so this is pretty good. So if your burger doesn't look like this, that means you're probably not in fresh ground's good graces. All right, so kickback. Kickback, where are you from? New Jersey. What day did you start? Uh, That's awesome. February the 20th. Glowworm uh, from Louisiana and uh, February 19th. Nice. You haven't been on yet. March 5th from Harper's and then flopping around. Awesome. What is your trail name? Yeah, what's your trail name? I don't know. What is my trail name? What did we say? I'm starting to, it's either tweak or tweak out something. I like it. She doesn't like it though. What's your name? <laughs> no, I don't mind tweaker. Hollywood. Tweaker. Hollywood. Just newly appointed today. And then fresh ground. Just so everybody's coming back through, just know that the ground beef didn't have any ice in it for like two days, so could be. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So last night, I woke up, well, I got up this morning about four, and uh, the trash bag was a hole in the bottom. I normally don't leave trash out, but they got a bunch of dogs in the horse camp. I don't want to disturb them. And normally I'd put it in the car, but we got mice problem in the car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so we're, we're juggling here. <laughs> so I'm sitting at the table up, and there's a raccoon standing 20 feet away looking at me. And he wasn't I'm scared. Going, he was kind of like, you know, the they I disappear guess. again. I get up a little farther. Where the cat? And I look, it's a daggone raccoon up there watching me going. He lets me get like right up on top of him. run up and grab the bread, I guess, that was on the ground and run back. So I had to walk over there, and he finally ran away. So I get the table set up. 
and I'm coming around there about 20 minutes later, he's right over there by the fire pit, <laughs> looking for scraps. <laughs> Same raccoon, big old raccoon. So, early rising raccoon, he brings them with him. <laughs> Go ahead, do him. Uh, we just had a through hiker come up. What's your trail name? My name is Bones. Bones, where'd you come from today? How far'd you go? Uh, 20, what did we say, 25? 25.9. 25.9 miles, Lost Mountain Shelter. So he, that's the first shelter. So if everybody remembers, that's the shelter I got sick at last year. He walked from there all the way here to get some of this dude's food. It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely, that's why all my guys were here, so I hustled down here to make it. Uh, where are you from? I'm from Salisbury, North Carolina. Salisbury, there's a lot of North Carolina boys in the house right here today. And I'm there with, had a drop basket in, and a stuck chocolate heart on it. It was so <laughs> cold. Yes. I okay, was there so we go. mad. That worked. <laughs> yeah. Millie. So one of the things that night in the first round, he made us, we were- Now that's a good idea. Though. Laptop. Never lose so it at we night. We got little making popcorn, dollar store, and our flashlights and put them in our fridge.